Tamil Nadu means for generally people think that Paran means to break the fast. But it is not related to um, the eating or not eating. Paran means to complete the Vrat. So say for example on the Kadasi, then on the following day there's a period of time in which to complete the Vrat on the Dwadasi. So actually to do the Paran, to complete the Vrat, then within that fixed time uh, one should take bath, one should uh, do puja of Krishna, one should offer bow to Krishna, one should uh, give the uh, pranami to Guru, Vaisnav, Brahmanas, and, uh, and of course if you have not taken any water you can take some water, if you have taken some uh, fruit then you should take some, you can take break with vegetable, if you have taken vegetable and fruit uh, then you have to break with grains. So all of these things, they are included in Paran, the completion of the Vrat. So, so to uh, follow all these rules and regulations and finish your fast and so on in the right time is the obedience and subordination to Krishna uh, and the instructions is given in the scriptures. This is very important. <coughs> Otherwise, you think that following a Kadasi is doing tapasya. But actually, following a Kadasi rules and regulations is bhakti. Tapasya is not bhakti. So, if someone thinks, I am fasting on the Kadasi, I am doing tapasya. Then they may think, if I fast for two days instead of one day, or for three days instead of two days, then I'll do more tapasya and get more benefits. So this is just performance of tapasya, but the benefit you get is only making a karma. Uh, by doing tapasya you can get some powers like Hiranyakashipu. <laughs> so we're not fasting on a Kadasi as a tapasya to get powers like Hiranyakashipu. But we are subordinating ourselves to the instructions that Krishna has given in Shastra. Uh, because it's pleasing to Krishna. Hmm? So we fast when Krishna said fast and we stop when Krishna said stop. <laughs> Not independent tapasya. So being obedient in this way, the goddess of Akadasi is very pleased and the Madhava Titi Bhakti Janami Hmm? That means that the goddess of uh, Akadasi is the mother of devotion and she will give the cause the birth of bhakti in our heart. This is the meaning of Parana. Very good question. Я слышал, что такое утверждение, что Парам, я слышал такое утверждение, что Парам, для того, что Кришна приходит в 
Krishna comes to get the fruits, to give the fruits, yes, to, to get the fruits. To get the fruits. Yes. What does Krishna want? <laughs> <laughs> But he comes during this time to get fruits. To follow Akadashi is a part of Vaidhi Bhakti. So Krishna is actually not worshipped by Vaidhi Bhakti. Of Braja. So Akadashi means Ekadas, means 11. By 11 senses to do Upavas, fast. The meaning of Upavas is not only fasting. Upa means nearby and Vas means residing. So to reside very close to Krishna with all 11 senses is called Upavas on Ekadasi. So whenever you are chanting and doing Vartan Ekadasi, Krishna can come. In relation to that, I was always wondering why is it when on Ekadashi it's it said the sin is going in the grain and the next day is going out? Or how, how we can understand that? Yes, there's, a, there's a history uh, with Ekadashi Devi and the Pap Purush. So just like in architecture, before you uh, make the building, then first you have to install the uh, Vastu Purush. So there's, the, there's a personality of architecture. So there's a Papa Purush, so the personality of sit, sins also. So there's a very nice history about Ekadasi Devi and Krishna and the Papa Purush. We'll tell on Ekadasi. So because the, sin, the sins are a person and he comes eh, to out of the glorification of Ekadasi for those who don't follow Ekadasi. It's like a negative glorification of Ekadasi and then he leaves. So don't take any grain on a courtesy. Otherwise you get all sins. The Papa Rush himself has come. Ekadasi Devi. When we speak about Ekadasi, then we're speaking about Ekadasi Devi. When we speak about Ekadasi, then we're speaking about Ekadasi Devi. So whatever Shakti exists originally comes from Radharani. Every Shakti. Even the material energy. Lakshmi Devi. Saraswati. Every goddess is expansion or expansion or expansion or shadow of expansion of Radharani. But Sila Bhaktanotako said, Madhava Titi Bhakti Janani. The Akadasi is the mother of devotion. If you want to say Radharani is mother, then that's okay. But I will say Radharani Saki. I will not call Radharani my mother. Radha we relate to Radharani as our Saki. 
So if you call Radharani mother, 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 then Krishna will be your father, then what dress are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> then if Krishna is your father, you have to have a swarup like Aniruddha in Dwarka, Krishna's, Krishna's grandson, Rajumna. <laughs> yeah, that's called Gaurava Dasya. The, the children and grandchildren of Krishna in Dwarka are in Dasiras, but it's called Gaurava Dasya. Respect for the Guruja and the elder person. So better that you think of Kadashi is like a mother and Radharani is a Sakhi. <laughs> but from the point of view of the Tattva, then all Shaktis have come from Radharani. She is the mother of the mother of the mother of the mother. She has Vatsalya Bhav towards her manziris. But not like a mother, like older sister. One more question? for many hours. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm thinking how I can express it in a short time without making chaos. <laughs> because it's very delicate. <laughs> the spiritual body is uh, eternal. If it had a beginning, it would not be spiritual. Because that which is spiritual is beyond time. So, in Priti Sandarbha, there he said, Vaikunta Jyotir Ansa Bhuta. Ananta Murtayaha Vartante. The meaning is that the Supreme Lord in the spiritual world has a, is very effulgent. And in the rays of his effulgence, he has, there are unlimited spiritual forms. And when a devotee is mature, then he becomes united with that form. Now, then another point of view is how the form is already there. But in a potential. So, devotees have been killing each other at war, civil war, over this point, for hundreds of years. <laughs> and it uh, never ends. It's like a fire which you cannot, which will not go out. And it comes from 
not being able to reconcile the statements of Shastra. In Bhagavatam, Sri Krishna says, Mayopa Brahmita Bhuna Brahmana Ananta Shaktaya. Sri Krishna said, I have put the syllable on in the Mul Adha Chakra of every living being. But you cannot hear it. But when you do Pratyahara, you shut, all your senses become shut. Huh? Like the yogis do Pratyahara. Why? Because when they do Pratyahara, then the sound of Om comes. At, actually, first the Paramatma hears the sound. Then the Paramatma allows the Jiva to hear the sound. And as this sound slowly manifests, it reveals Brahman, then Paramatma, then Bhagavan. Because actually, Om is, is Nam, and there's no difference between Nam and Nami. So Bhagavan means along with all his shaktis. So then? So Bhagavan means who exists with all of his shaktis. So in that syllable Om, in the heart of all living beings, Supreme Lord is present in potential, in sound potential, along with all of his shaktis. And one aspect of that shakti is that swarup which has been told, uh, Vasanti Yatta Purusha, hmm, Ananta Murtaya, in the, in the Priti Sandarbha, that there are unlimited spiritual bodies which are in the effulgence of the Supreme Lord. So if you say it that way, that it's in the spiritual world, or if you say it's with you, and it's a potential which will come out, it's the same thing, because Abhinatvam Nama Namino, the name and the Supreme Reality are same. So, so either you can say that spiritual body is eternal and it's in the effulgence of Supreme Lord in the spiritual world. Or you can say the Supreme Lord is present in the heart of all living beings as the syllable Om along with those forms and one is yours and that will manifest to you when you chant Harina. So if one says the form is there, he's right. If someone says the form is there, potential in you is also right. But they still fight each other. <laughs> Because they have no power to reconcile. Especially the Prakrit Sahajas, they like to say form is there. And you have nothing. So you have to come and get the Siddha Pranali from us. <laughs> so because they have not realization of Nam Tattva. The Nam is the coming from the Om is the beads like a seed and Hare Krishna Mahamantra is the Rasatmak group of Om. The, the Rasapurna form of Om. In the seed there is no juice, in the fruit the juice is there. So all these things you can read in 11th canto and 12th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. But unless Gurudev or pure Vaishnava will explain to you, you, 
it's unlikely that you will understand. Но если чистый вайшнап или трудная вам это не объяснит, скорее всего, вы не поймете. Okay, so that was the first person. The other one was about the yogis. No, no. In Krang Mukti, the yogis they go in Brahman. Yes, Krang Mukti yogi idu Brahman. They give up the gross body, they give up the subtle body, they give up the current sharia, and then they get Kaivalya Mukti. Well, if they give up only the gross body and the subtle body, then in the pure chitta, when they see Paramatma, they may change their mind and decide to become a devotee, if they had a good Vaishnava association. And then they do bhakti, that's if in this life, then they do bhakti and their body becomes spiritualized. But if they don't have the Vaishnava association, then by practicing yoga, they realize nothing. And if they practice yoga with a little touch of bhakti, then first they give up the gross body, they become videha, like a demigod in heaven. And then after that they become prakrita lai, they go out of the um, universe, the, the portion of the universe where the planets are, and they go into the coverings of prakriti, because there's a subtle um, causes of the elements of Prakriti are there in layers around the universe. Earth, water, fire, air, space, there are eight layers. And so then they go through these layers, they become Prakriti alive. And then if they come free from the current chair, then they also uh, they can get uh, mukti. Moksha. So we don't we don't do that. We follow the bhakti process. It is much superior. The, mainly the yogis, they are uh, meditating and realizing Paramatma and then they try to merge with him. So this is worse than just merging with Brahman. Huh? Because if you merge with Brahman, then you did not have the realization of Paramatma that God has a form. But you realize that God has a form and still you want to merge, this, so it's worse. So it said that the heart of that yogi is like a hook. Why? Because when he realized Paramatma, he became fixed, like a hook is fixed on something. Yes, Paramatma is very beautiful. But then he has to remove the hook of his mind from the Paramatma and merge into Brahma. So Bhagavatam says his heart is like a hook because why? A hook is hard and crooked. Who, after realizing that God is a person, wants to go in impersonal liberation? Not so generally, the pure devotees will give mercy to them, give them a chance to become a devotee. But if they've made many offenses to devotees, then that mercy will not be there, and the yogi will uh, go eventually in Brahman. Like Dhritarashtra. Dhritarashtra was liberated in the end. 
But during his life, he tried to kill Kunti and Arjun and Yudhisthira and Bhim saying so many times. He made so many offenses. So he didn't get back in the end, he got Sayuja Bhakti. But it's very interesting that Shukadev Goswami is uh, beginning his teaching by teaching the glories of bhakti by comparison with the yoga sadhana. It's very, very good to understand the details of yoga sadhana so that you can understand the superiority of bhakti by comparison. Also, very important point, Jiva Goswami Pad said, the yogis have uh, two types of dhyan, the stool dhyan and the shukshma dhyan, uh, two types of meditation, gross and subtle. Uh, the gross meditation is meditating that the things of the world are part of the body of God. And the subtle meditation is to meditate on Paramatma, the form of Paramatma in the heart. And there's a description of how Paramatma looks. So why not go directly to the Shukshma Dhyan? <laughs> What's the point of doing this uh, stool dhyan meditation on the universe being the different parts of the body of God? So, Srila Jiva Goswami Pada said, until the mind has become very steady, then one cannot uh, see Paramatma in the heart when he utters the syllable Om. The, until the mind is very steady, Ekagrata, you cannot see. So, if you try to see with an unsteady mind, you try to meditate on the form of Paramatma, then you have to imagine. So this imagine is a chitta rajasic chitta vritti called vikalpa, imagination. So, Jiva Goswami Pad said, by trying to meditate on something that you have not seen, you increase vikalpa, the tendency for speculation, imagination. So, because you've seen the trees, you've seen the mountains, you've seen the rivers, you can meditate on that without increasing the vikalpa. Then when the mind becomes very peaceful, then you can utter Om and be near vikalpa. Without speculation, and the form of Paramatma will appear. So this is, a, this is the inner meaning of Shukadeva Goswami speaking about yoga and two types, stool dhyan and shukshma dhyan, subtle, gross and subtle meditation to teach this that imagination makes the mind unsteady, not steady. So, in bhakti, then what can we do? Because we don't want to meditate on the universe and we don't want to meditate on impersonal, we want to meditate on the form of Krishna. So, in bhakti path, Krishna appears as the deity? <laughs> then you don't have to speculate, he's right there. Yeah, you can meditate on his form, you're looking at him. You can serve him, you can offer flowers, you can decorate him. So Krishna appears as the deity, especially to help the Konishta Adhikari come through this stage and uh, slowly awaken his internal realization. So the deity is called Vigraha. Uh, means Vishesh, especially. 
Graha, to accept your service. You cannot, you are not qualified to do Manasik Seva. So then how will Krishna accept your service? So Vigraha, he came in this form, especially to accept your services. Krishna, 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 Krishna,